Hey guys, it's Queen Nita, and in today's video, I'll be reacting during to episode 8 of Demon Slayer, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You know when you can, like, feel a scratch or, like, when a weight hits someone in a video? I felt that. Mm -mm. Now, I did think, like, last week, I said something I think, towards the end of the episode, um, where I thought, dude was gonna change his wife in a one, and so, but surely everybody, like, infection with zombies and shit, no. What's his face gonna only change people immediately into it, which, you would kind of assume that when someone's already changed into a demon, that that demon can go and infect somebody else. Like, like I said, with zombies, with, um, Trying to think of what else can you instantly get turned into. Um, what was that one damn show? Like, I don't know. There's other things that I've watched where someone instantly, like, gets bit, gets scratched, and then they turn into one, and then you gotta kill someone. Even if it's your best friend, your family, your dog, anything. But, no. Not like that. Yeah. When the fuck is he gonna appear? Like, I mean, we're already on episode eight, and I was thinking he was gonna be with one of the freaking five people who survived and passed the damn test. And I'm not talking about the dude with the yellow hair. We've already seen him. I'm talking about the other guy. See, if it was me, once I hear the girl scream, shit like that, out. True. Great. Of course, he would use that as an escape route. Oh my god. No, he's normal, right? No, he's still a demon. Because I'm thinking, like, once he left the range of him, you would have instantly turned right back to human, but it ain't that easy. I have to do that, damn. Some shit with the police brutality, damn. Damn, woman. No. Mm -mm. 
just so you can experience. Uh, kind of figured that out. Nope. I'm gonna go kill that kid. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to speak with the fucking police. The fact that these two don't know shit about this land. I mean, they know certain things, but not everything. I'm guessing he ain't tell her shit when they got married. No, he... Hmm, shouldn't have done that. No, oh my god, stop! Oh my god, stop being a drunk idiot, just walk away! Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck me sideways. Jesus. The same thing you're about to do to y'all. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. You look fine. Mm mm. No. Mm mm. Mm mm. My thing is, girl, why didn't you run when you had a chance? I mean, you know, both your brothers dead, so it's like, fuck that. Oh. Well, that's for some like yoga mesh did to what's his face. But, damn. Wait, hold on. So does he think that the guy that killed him right there is Hunjano? That like, I mean, he looks exactly like him. Or that could be his dad, maybe, I don't know.
Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, she can't eat. Sorry. <laughs> She's not so stupid. No. Mm. Yes, and it's complicated. I'm talking about Nesco. Nessica is pretty. She's beautiful. <laughs> Just follow. Come on. Okay. Of course. Because they think it's the easiest thing to do. That's like that in our world as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
but not like purple balloon. You know, that's rude to say and ask. <sighs> but maybe she's like 400 or 800 years old. Or maybe a thousand years old. But still, we don't ask someone what their age is. It's rude. So annoying. She's like really similar to what is right from Twilight, and I can't even believe I'm comparing it to Twilight, but she is in a way. Oh, but thank God there is one. Yeah. Aww. Mm -hmm. 
for now to come here. As long as it takes. Oh, these fit. Of course. Cliffhanger. Of course. A fucking course. I'm fine with that, though. But I'm happy that we now know that we can save Nezuko. That's it. But my biggest thing is, let's say we get the blood, all the research for her to make the elixir, which I'm guessing that's going to happen towards the end of this show. But then at the same time, I'm wondering, like, speaking of manga-wise, if they probably have gotten the point to this far where he's gotten everything for Nezuko to be turned back into a human what if Nezuko just says no if she's truly fine being a demon? That's the thing. Because Nezuko is the one who's going to have to make that decision. I don't want Tanjiro to be like, yeah, instantly go ahead and turn her ass back into a demon. You got to think about her. and it, It's about her at the end of the day. She's old enough to make her own decision. I mean, yes, that's her big brother, but then at the same time, it's her decision. Just how, like, if your parents were like, okay, I'm still going to make this decision, but you still have a say in something, so you can either say yes or no, whatever the hell you want to make. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe she'll say yes or maybe she'll say no. It's up to her because it's her life. I mean, he wants to change her back so that they can have a normal life again without the rest of their family members. But what if? She's just fine with the way it is. I mean, yeah, she sleeps for two years and such, and she gains, like, tremendous abilities. But at the same time, she she's fine! She'll be able to kick ass with you! That's all! That's a good thing! He's just really in love with her. Now, I, I just have to say, when Doom killed those three people, that, I mean, to punch to one of them, kick one of them, and then, like, do something for freaking the Fate series, like, I, I just, oh god, no, man, like, that was truly disgusting. I, I literally have nothing else to say about that. But, like, that shit was creepy. But I did ask that, like, okay, once he slowly leaves and gets far away from the person who he just turned, maybe, just maybe, he would have been turned back to normal. But, of course, no. And it's just like, damn. Did we have to go, in, like, police brutality in this episode? Did the police have to, like, almost hit Tanjiro and stuff, like, I I'm not saying people are probably gonna get triggered by that, but, like, no, like, there's no such thing to, like, oh, hey, let's just start with violence and shit, but, like, no, that's typically the world today, too. Instead of asking questions first and then do the violence, we're just like, no, we're gonna do violence first and then we're gonna ask questions. <sighs> the world today, yes. I don't think I really have anything else to say about this, but, like, it was a good-ass episode. It's just I got some questions. I mean, <sighs> about the backstory with Muzin talking about, I want you to kill the guy with the earrings. That wasn't Tanjiro. We all know that. And I don't think, because we, and I've been wondering this, like, ever since episode one, when we met Tanjiro's family, everybody's there except his father. Will we learn more about his father? Did his father mysteriously die at a young age when he was, um, when Daniel and the rest of his family members were, like, babies? 
Did he up and leave his family to become whatever? And because he literally looks like that samurai. So I'm that's like the only thing that I can say is that could be his dad. Maybe. But what if Tanjiro doesn't know anything about his dad? I mean, this is the same thing about like fucking my hero because I mean you know qu people got questions like oh hey where the hell is Deku's dad we're like bitch we don't even know even till now and I feel like maybe in the manga which I would really love to read but I think I'm gonna wait until the series is done completely as a whole to continue where the anime ended to see how everything went if he possibly has met up with his dad if that is his dad I don't know. I mean, just like, I, I have nothing really to back up this theory other than the fact is that samurai and Tanjiro look very alike. So, or maybe that could be Tanjiro's like great, great, great grandfather or one of his, aunt, like, it has to be an ancestor. So it's either dad or ancestor. That's it. I don't think it now could really be his dad. I'm like... Percentage-wise, I'm like a 5% event <laughs> on the Ancestor. I'm like a 99.999 .99. because of the fact is, I mean, from the back, from the flashback of it, it had to be older than what this present day is at the time. So it could have been like 200 years ago, 2,000 years ago. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. Don't even tell me if I'm right. I just want to wait and find out. I don't want to know anything. Don't spoil me on shit. Nothing. I just want to wait until I know I'm right. But I'm probably wrong. I don't know. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 8 of Demon Slayer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Saturday for episode 9. Bye, guys.